When you see a playground like this, you see children swinging, climbing, and running. But not every child can be so carefree. There's always a need. There's always children coming into care, and the need is great in every county in the state of South Carolina. Betsy Manning is a recruiter for the South Carolina Youth Advocate Program. Her job is to find families who want to foster children. We need these homes to care for children temporarily while they're faced with foster care. If we don't have those homes, some children may face going into group homes or different shelters, depending on what county they're in. These clothes show what a need there is in every county. They're stacked up in the program's Greenville offices for children who've had to leave their homes. Some are small sizes for little babies, others for teens in high school. We need families willing to work with children who have entered foster care by no fault of their own, and they are in the, st in the custody of the state. Kathy Farr has been a foster mom for 17 years. You just treat them like your own child and what you would do, what you would do for your own. As she reads the Bible in her Piedmont home, she's reflecting on the children who've come into her life, some for a few days, others for years. They need somebody and they appreciate you. They want to know that they, that you love them and that you can, they are some, you are somebody that they can depend on. That's all they're looking for. They're not, they looking for somebody that don't let them down or not gonna leave them. These stuffed animals show just how alone these children can feel. They're given to them to provide a hug when they need it. For those at SCYAP, they put special focus on placing children into therapeutic foster care. The therapeutic uh, foster care is for children with developmental delays, um, some medical needs, some special needs, um, children with mental health diagnosis. And their program website gives some insight on what it requires to be licensed. There are people there who help with everything from the application to the training to transportation and therapy once the child arrives. We want to make sure that you can actually do that and that you are equipped to do that because uh, the children that you're taking in have been hurt. They've been neglected and abused and we have to provide special training to you, but we also have to make sure that you are ready to take on such a, a such a charge. And for Kathy Farr, it's been a blessing, one she hopes other families are willing to consider. But you gotta fight for these kids. You gotta fight for what's right for them. And it's good. The reward is good for them and it's good for you.